it's like Crash Wars. All right, uh, my name is Alex. This is Dean. That's Kate. Uh, we're doing nucleic acids. Uh, just a quick little heads up, just so you know, like what we're talking about. Uh, these, the Twizzlers, they're going to represent the phosphate and sugar backbone, which is supporting the bases. Uh, where uh, orange represents uracil, red represents adenine, yellow will represent cytosine, uh, green will represent thymine, and purple represents guanine. Uh, if you'll also, uh, and I'll just be talking about the main structure of DNA and RNA and the relationship between the two. They'll be focusing more on the uh, aspect of the bases and uh, how they bond to the nucleotides and how they bond to each other. Um, so as you can see here, we'll first be talking about DNA, which is this, the double helix. Uh, you'll notice that in the center between uh, the bonded bases, we have two pieces of Laffy Taffy. Uh, they were cut and microwaved to make them more malleable and they are used to represent the hydrogen bonds that uh, basically holds the two helixes together. Well, the base is more so, but you know what I mean. Uh, and of course there's the double helix structure here in the center where it converges and it continues to do that, uh, waving in and out. Uh, over here is the RNA, which you'll notice does not have uh, any sort of thymine. It has uracil as a replacement, and there are no bonds between the bases. Uh, it is also sort of a wavy structure, which is a little hard to show with Twizzlers, surprisingly. I mean, you would think it would be easier. Um, and uh, the relationship between the two is <laughs> DNA basically has all the information, and RNA is a little messenger. It basically transcribes the uh, information onto the RNA. RNA takes the information over to uh, uh, the place where the amino acids are made, and it basically just tells the, the body what to do. So it's basically like an instruction manual. And as for RNA, there's four different hydrogen nitrogenous bases, which would be A, U, C, and G. A for adenine, U for uracil, T for, I mean, C for cytosine, and G for guanine. For DNA, it's going to be A, T, C, and G, which Kate is going to talk about later. So here we have uracil, and it's purine because it has one ring in the formation. And for here, we have adenine and guanine, and in order to make the nucleotides, they're both linked to a, uh, a phosphate group, which we represented red for oxygen, uh, clear for phosphate, yellow for carbon, orange for hydrogen, and green for nitrogen. Um, so the main difference between uh, DNA and RNA is the fact that it's in their name, really. Uh, for RNA, it's called uh, uh, ribose, and, um, and for DNA, it's uh, deoxyribose, and that's because, as you can see, there is an oxygen bind bonded to a hydrogen in the RNAs, but in all of the um, DNA nucleotides, there's only a hydrogen here. And also, it's important to notice that here and here there are oxygen, and this would be um, guanine and thymine, which don't bond together, but it's rather the one where there's a C um, CH2 and an oxygen, which would hydrogen bond here, as um, Alex showed in his model. Um, in a uh, dehydration uh, reaction, uh, it would happen between the th um, third and fifth carbon sh uh, in the sugar, which um, Alex will show as well. Oh, oh, I just uh, so like because we didn't cover it before. The do you want to just like explain what each gummy bear represents, like the color? Uh, so uh, same with Dean. It's the uh, these are yellows, and then that they would represent the one, two, three, four, five uh, carbon sugar, and then the rest are the same with them. Uh, the red ones are oxygen, and the uh, the orange ones are also hydrogen. Uh, so, of course, uh, just like a quick little recap, this would be the phosphate group, this is the sugar group, in this case the deoxy deoxyribose group, as is a, a DNA base, uh, and over here you can see the base itself. Um, so, of course, you would have to take off a uh, hydroxyl right. group. So, you already did it? Yeah, oh, so, oh, okay. well. <laughs> so, as I mentioned before, it happened between the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th carbon and the 1, 2, 3 carbon of these two nucleotides, and that would be along the sugar backbone, sugar phosphate backbone in the DNA model or an RNA model. Um, 